The book of nature which we have to read is written by the finger of God. But still try, for who knows what is possible. Lectures which really teach will never be popular, lectures which are popular will never really teach. Nothing is too wonderful to be true, if it be consistent with the laws of nature. A man who is certain he is right is almost sure to be wrong. There's nothing quite as frightening as someone who knows they are right. I am no poet, but if you think for yourselves, as I proceed, the facts will form a poem in your minds. Since peace is alone the gift of God, and as it is he who gives it, why should we be afraid? His unspeakable gift in his beloved son is the ground of no doubtful hope. I have far more confidence in the one man who works mentally and bodily at a matter than in the six who merely talk about it. Nature is our kindest friend and best critic in experimental science if we only allow her intimations to fall unbiased on our minds. It is right that we should stand by and act on our principles, but not right to hold them in obstinate blindness, or retain them when proved to be erroneous. All are sure in their days except the most wise, he is the wisest philosopher who holds his theory with some doubt. I happen to have discovered a direct relation between magnetism and light, also electricity and light, and the field it opens is so large and I think rich. I am busy just now again on electromagnetism and think I have got hold of a good thing but can't say, it may be a weed instead of a fish that after all my labor I may at last pull up. I can at any moment convert my time into money, but I do not require more of the latter than is sufficient for necessary purposes. Water is to me, I confess, a phenomenon which continually awakens new feelings of wonder as often as I view it. The world little knows how many of the thoughts and theories which have passed through the mind of a scientific investigator, have been crushed in silence and secrecy by his own severe criticism and adverse examination. It is on record that when a young aspirant asked Faraday, the secret of his success as a scientific investigator, he replied, the secret is comprised in three words work, finish, publish. I am busy just now again on electromagnetism and think. I have got hold of a good thing but can't say. It may be a weed instead of a fish that after all my labor, I may at last pull up. I happen to have discovered a direct relation between magnetism and light, also electricity and light, and the field it opens is so large and I think rich. Shall we educate ourselves in what is known, and then casting away all we have acquired, turn to ignorance for aid to guide us, among the unknown? No wonder that my remembrance fails me, for I shall complete my 70 years next Sunday, the 22, and during these 70 years. I have had a happy life, which still remains happy because of hope and content. There is no more open door by which you can enter into the study of natural philosophy than by considering the physical phenomena of a candle. Who would not have been laughed at if he had said in 1800 that metals could be extracted from there or as by electricity or that portraits could be drawn by chemistry. Water is to me, I confess, a phenomenon which continually awakens new feelings of wonder as often as I view it. The condition of matter. I have dignified by the term electronic, the electronic state. What do you think of that? Am I not a bold man, ignorant as I am, to coin words, 